Hi everyone, it's Miss Batty here, back with lesson three in our series on matter and energy in ecosystems. Today, we are going to be focusing in on where does carbon dioxide come from in the ecosystem? We found out in the previous lessons that carbon dioxide is really important for making our energy storage molecules. What you're going to need in this lesson today is a piece of paper or pencil, pen, to jot down some notes and observations. If you have a Schoology lesson or handout available from your teacher, you can go ahead and get those out as well. Something that I recommend, but it's not required, is that you have a friend or a family member to check in with throughout this lesson. You can share your ideas, ask questions, and it's just more fun to learn with someone else. In our last lesson, we realized that the, the carbon dioxide levels in the biodome were decreasing. We received this data from the biodome for carbon dioxide, sunlight, and water levels. We know that around year three, the Econauts were able to observe that the biodome was not working properly. This is when they saw that the plants and animals we're not getting enough energy storage molecules to stay alive. However, if we look at our graph, we can see that slightly before then, the amount of carbon dioxide in the biodome was decreasing. We can see that the sunlight and water remain pretty stable. Now, many of you gave great explanations in our last lesson for what was going on here. We know from our previous investigations that carbon dioxide is very important for the process of photosynthesis. And many of you talked about this in your explanation. If there is less carbon in the form of carbon dioxide, then there is less carbon dioxide or carbon available for producers to use in the process of photosynthesis, where they make energy storage molecules. So, our claim can be that if the carbon dioxide is decreasing in the biodome, it is very likely that not as much photosynthesis was occurring and not as many energy storage molecules were being made. You did such a fantastic job with your explanations of this. And of course, just as we always have in science, when we answer some questions, we have more questions that arise. We started off wondering where these energy storage molecules come from and why they were decreasing. We know why they were decreasing now, but this leads us to the question of why was this carbon dioxide decreasing in the first place? What is causing the carbon dioxide in the abiotic matter or the air to decrease in the biodome? Because of this occurring, we know there is less photosynthesis. So now we can move on to this question. I want you to think about your ideas for why this might be occurring before we move on with our investigations today. <laughs> 